three games and three wins since the last episode. And today it is Sparta Prague and Liverpool that uh, we take on. So yeah, we beat Leicester City after that Atletico Madrid game. Uh, Rafinha and Julian Alvarez with our goals. A comfortable win in Kent against Gillingham, a local derby of course. Uh, in the FA Cup, Kings of Coleman, Jared Bowen and Nikola Vlasic. And then went up to Goodison and smashed Everton 5-2. We were 5-0 up at half-time in an unbelievable performance. Thomas Suchek, uh, Rafinha with a brace and Dusan Vlavic with a brace as well. Dominic Calvert-Lewin got a double of his own in the second half as we uh, stepped off the gas. It wasn't my doing, but we stepped off the gas and uh, allowed them to get a couple of goals. Uh, what it does mean is that we're currently fifth in the Premier League table. We are three points uh, behind Man United and Liverpool who have both dropped points. They've both drawn a game. Not with each other, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, we, we're right back in it. We're taking on Liverpool in the second game, of course, the main event, if you like. But we will be taking on Sparta in the, uh, the first match in the Czech Republic. And if we have a look at the group... Inter did win their game against Sparta. They won it 4-0, unsurprisingly. We thought they'd win it. They did very, very comfortably. So, we need to get the result today against Sparta. We need the win. We need to take six points out of Sparta. There's, there's no, there's no uh, negotiating. There's no wiggle room on that. We need to take six points out of Sparta. And I think this is a team that we're going to go with. Just having a look here because we can only have seven subs. So we've got Suchek and Foden on the bench, Alvarez, Jota, Brandon Williams, Sally Sue, Newbel. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Toddy Bow and Botman starting to make a little bit of a partnership. Let's uh, hope that that is the future of the club because that's a very, very good partnership, I think. So here we go. It's a banana skin game, this one. Do I know any of the players? Does anything stand out there? No, nothing stands out there to me. Uh, I am going to pump fists and I'm going to do the old media one which has motivated all the defence which is good both teams coming to this one in good form yeah but we're just better aren't we having won your opening match yep it's never ideal to have an injury in forced absence uh, yeah Rafinha he did pick up uh, a knock it's a hamstring strain and he is out for a good couple of months which is uh, yeah it's not, it's not great but We've got players that could play there. It's not the end of the world. I mean, Jarrod Bowen will get a good run in the team now. But we've, you know, Phil Foden could play out there. No problem at all. Julian Alvarez could play out there. Kings of Coleman could play out there. So it's, it's a big injury, but it's not a, uh, a season ruiner. And we're in with an early highlight. Ten minutes on the clock. Alex Tellez. Oh, he's got through to Bowen. And he scored. That's going to be given. I am fairly certain that'll be given. I knew it. It's not even close. It is not even close. It's a great finish. He's been in really good form, Jared Bowen. Yeah, I mean, it, why did that even go to a to a, a not, to VAR? It's, it was not even, not even close. Right, Tellez, one assist already. His corner is headed away in Kingsley Coleman. Will retrieve it. Nice ball to Vlasic. Fizz that in. Rice. Okay, that's fine. All the way back to Merritt. Oh, God. It's gone direct there. But it's got us right up the pitch. Vlavic tackled. This is... We'll be kind. And we'll say it's a little bit scrappy. Cleared. Sven Botman strode forward and intercepted. Vlasic. Oh, it looked like a great ball. Oh, that was a good ball. And Rice has hit the bar. Unlucky. Unlucky, boys. Of course, Inter are playing Atletico. And kind of want Inter to win that. Because if we win and Inter win, we're six points clear of Atletico. So a draw would be fine. A draw would be fine. I think the worst thing that could happen is that Inter win. It's the Atletico win, sorry. And where are they? Oh, they're playing it in Madrid. Wow, we've had 13 shots in the first half an hour. Drop a little praise on them then. Declan Rice is looking a little bit tired. If we could get a second goal before the break, 
I might just give him a rest. Camera lifts it all the way back to the keeper, Merritt. Ben Johnson down the line for Bowen. Nikola Vlasic. Todibo sprays it out to the other side to Alex Tellez. And it's down with Coleman. This is lovely passing. Coleman. There's quite a few of us in the box here. It's out with Tellez. That is a deep cross. It's gone all the way through to Ben Johnson. And he's whipped one in. And that's headed away. These highlights are unnecessarily long. Oh, that's a great ball. That is a tidy finish from Dusan Vlaovic. And again, I am pretty certain that that is going to count. 95% certain that's going to count. It does. It's 2-0. It was a great run from him. He ran from behind the defender. It might be a bit tighter than Jared's, But it never felt offside to me, that one. Let's have a look at it. Vlasic drove forward, did well there. First time ball from camera. And it is a little bit tighter. It was their number two, their right back, that played him on. A couple of early games we've had up there. Um, with Bayern and Porto playing... Always get a couple of early kickoffs, don't you, for the uh, for the group stages? Right, they've gone all the way back to their keeper. He's thumped it forward. It's a big header from Botman and Vlasic. Lovely ball to Coleman. Vlasic was in the middle. Oh, that's looped up. Uh, that was almost one of the goals of the season. Where uh, was it? I thought that was just a cross that looped up. Whoa, they're down to ten. Julish with a shocker. And he is off Lukash Julish. I think I've got that somewhere <laughs> near right. Uh, apologies if I haven't. Right, let's. Right, I am. Um, that red card has really convinced me that we're going to win. And we've got Liverpool at home coming up. So I'm going to take off Declan. For he's playing as a CM attack. I am going to give Phil Foden a run out on the right wing at some point. So I'm going to bring on Suchek. And that's the only one. I don't want to do two at half time. I was just looking at uh, Alex Tellez a little bit, but he seems all right. He seems fine. But I might bring Brandon Williams on after an hour or so. Uh, Jota, Alvarez, they, they could probably be kept. For the Liverpool game. Maybe. I, Vlaovic is scoring now. Maybe I will bring Alvarez on. 20 shots we've had. 8 on target. Right. We will. We'll make a double now. Sven Botman's been booked. At the moment. I'm thinking Tellez for Brandon. And then I'm going to bring. Do you know what? I'm actually going to bring on Diogo Jota and play him as a striker because it is a position that he can play. And I wonder, maybe that's the position where we'll get the rate, the uh, the best performances out of him. Let's drop a little praise on the lads. He's still goalless in Madrid. Well, hang on a minute. How the hell have you got Atletico and Real playing at home at the same time? Atletico haven't already played, have they? That's, is that a full-time score? I'm sure they were playing at the same time as us. Maybe it is a full-time score, that one. Real Madrid 4-0 up now. That's not a surprise, is it? Smashing Pauk. Liverpool comfortably ahead. Our next opponents, of course. Mo Salah with a couple. Well, this has just petered out nicely, hasn't it? <laughs> and Diego Jota with another 6.5. You've only played like 25 minutes, mate, and you've got another six point. What the hell is wrong with Diogo Jota in this game? Right, that was a good win. Don't need to go overboard. 2 0, it's solid. We're in, we're out, job done. Real Madrid ended up winning 6 1. I let it go into Drew 0 0, so very, very happy with that. Breathing room on both of them. 
that it's, look at that Man City keeping tabs on big money target Vlaovic you can write off you ain't having him you are not having him another 2.4 million in the bank and right okay it's on to the big one We've already had the Manchester Derby and Man United continue their blistering start to the season with a 3-0 win over 10-man Man City, uh, which is annoying, really annoying, because they're now six points clear of us again, which means that we absolutely have to win this game now. A couple of changes. We have got Thomas Suchek and Phil Foden in, Diogo Jota as well, because he's playing against Liverpool, and, you know, the old boys rule, especially on FM. Uh, so... Yep, I think we're good to go with that. I don't think there's any uh, anyone I want to put on the uh, on the bench. So we are good to go. Looking for big performances from Phil Foden and especially Diogo Jota uh, in this one. He owes us one, to be honest. He's he's had a very 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 strange start to his to his career with us. Uh, Erling Haaland is up front for Liverpool because of course, but and I know I'm going to jinx it. He hasn't scored against us yet. And I know he's now going to get a hat-trick. It's always important to score. Several of your players have spoken about the positive dressing room. How tall? Uh, hang on a minute. We have good players as well. Why is everything about them being good? All rubbish answers there. Let's see what I'm guessing they'll be doing a... a a 4-2-3-1 or something of that ilk. Oh no, they've gone for a... Wow! A Simone Inzaghi is their manager now. They're doing a, like a 3-5-2, 5-3-2 sort of thing. I mean, we should get... I mean, there's absolutely nothing happening, but we should get some joy. Out wide, you would have thought. Apparently Everton and Fulham are playing twice against each other there. That's, that's quite an impressive feat. This is a terrible match. Oh, Chelsea have gone behind at home. Right, here's Foden. That is awful. Mo Salah tracked him back. Oh, Ben Johnson caught in his heels. He's given Andy Robertson the chance, but... I was worried there, putting a cross in when you've got a seven-foot-tall Erling Haaland. Oh, Vlaovic. Oh, Vlaovic! He's going to get there! And he's going to score! Come on! Defensive mix-up. And Dusan Vlaovic. Him and Julian Alvarez just keep on scoring whichever one of them plays. It bounced and then he got there just ahead of Virgil. And it's on his right foot as well and he's put it away. Super finish. So yeah, Wolves lead at Chelsea. We're up to third as it stands. We need the win from this. Just to pull it back to a three-horse race. I'm saying that after, what, seven games? That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, right, Vlaovic. Looking for Bowen. He pulls it across and Suchek! Oh, yes! It is 2-0. And this incredible West Ham team just keep on going. This is fast becoming... One of my favourite ever teams on FM. This is going to—it's going to be one of those that you remember for years and years and years. That is a stunning header from Suchek. What does? Yeah, that puts us above Liverpool now on goal scored. I imagine. Oh, as we've hit the bar, Todibo. He was offside anyway. I'm guessing we scored more than Liverpool because it's not on the head-to-head. -head. We must have scored more because our goal difference is the same. The dream half. I could have done with it just going straight to half time here, but if in the next 30 seconds we go 3 0 up, I'd be very, very happy with that. As Vlaovic heads down, but Robertson's got there ahead of Bowen. Infield for Salah. Looking for Henderson, and it's in. 2 1. That's worrying, that is annoying. It's a good goal. I'd love to know. Oh, that Erling Haaland. Is that Erling Haaland there? Not 
doesn't um, is that Haaland does he wear num- was it number 47 or something haven't seen anything of him at the moment that's put Liverpool back up above us though on goal difference but I'm not really worried about that it's all about the W that's all we need right let's get into the boys yeah we've just got to do the media one now I was hoping there'd be the um, don't get complacent one but there wasn't Tottenham have scored in their match and it's uh, Hyung Min Son that's got it Haaland going up against Botman but Botman won the header apparently and it's back with Merritt throws it out to Ben Johnson down the line he goes for Bowen over the top oh looking for Jota oh that's so unlucky I thought he was going to take it round him and he unleashed a volley that was unbelievable and it hit the angle that is so unlucky but he's going to look to get in again here back for Socek oh and across for Foden oh he just heavy first touch Bowen and Jota oh he's hit the post again oh we're all over them at the minute Tellez Cleared away by Robertson, I think it was. We're still coming now. Ben Johnson. Philly Foden, come on. Strikes it across to Tellez. Inch perfect. Suchek. Lovely interchange. On oh, Declan Rice! Tipped over by Allison. This is a superb performance at the minute. Jarrod Bowen is going to have to come off soon. And Suchek. Header save down at the near post. Whoa. Catch my breath. Look at that. Our shot count has rocketed. I think we had about seven just in that spell there. Uh, right. Jarrod Bowen is going to have to come off. And it's telling me Julian Alvarez. But I'm thinking Kingsley Coleman myself. Because what I might actually do. I might actually do. Do that and put Jotter out on the right. Although he's, he's wreaked a bit of havoc on the left, but we'll do that. Because I'm going to probably bring Julian Alvarez on for Vlaovic in a little bit. Could we do with some fresh legs in midfield? Maybe Maddy Camera. This is a good midfielder, I'm liking it. We're in with a, another highlight before the substitution goes through. And it's Mo Salah for Henderson. Looking for Haaland. He's on his weaker foot and he's dragged it wide. Tottenham 3-0 up at the Hawthorns. Right, okay, yes. Going to have to make a couple of changes now. It looks like Vlaovic is going to play the full game. Suchek for Maddy. Declan off for Vlasic. Oops, didn't mean to select you. I'm thinking I'm going to change that around and put Phil Foden as the midfielder on attack and I can't do a praise I don't really I don't really want to do it I want to do a demand more I want to do a praise I don't know what to do Salah with that deep free kick it's headed away by Sven Botman Fabinho decides to keep it in play Tellez clears that cross Tielemans Oh, we've won it. We've won it. Keep hold of it, lads. That's nice. Played our way out of trouble there. Vlaovic, make the run. Make the run. Oh, God. The fans are all laying. It's a bit early for that. It's only 2-1. Coleman. Tackled by Alexander-Arnold. Salah. For Haaland. And for Benio. And it's 2-2. And now it is time for an encourage. He had all the goal to out Merritt turn his, turned away. You just turn the other way. You'll see here. Look at this. What is he doing, Merritt? Maybe have a look at that round white thing that's just flown past you, mate. You know, keep your beadies on that. That's frustrating. Because that means we lose ground on Man United. Who are... Apparently massively overpowered again in this year's game. Despite the fact they're absolute shit in real life. 
They've won the last two Premier League titles. They won everything last season, pretty much. Champions League, they won most of the domestic competitions. I think they lost one of the league or the FA Cup. I can't remember which one. But I think they got to the final of it. And Solskjaer is still the manager. They're massively overpowered. It's ridiculous. And this is going to end in a draw by the look of it. Okay. Not massively happy with that. But not massively disappointed. Wanted the win. Needed not to lose. So I suppose the point is... Well, it's meh. But it's satisfactory, isn't it, I guess. Uh, having held up seemed to be a comfortable lead. Oh, of course we were 2-0 up, weren't we? God damn it. Just how damaging was it? Yeah, it was kind of damaging. Um, ah, so we're five points behind already. Newcastle have a game in hand on us as well. Hmm, which will be, I'm guessing, on the Sunday. Right. Well, that is that for this one. I mean, Dusan Vlaovic is in really good form at the minute. He's got seven goals in seven. But as I said earlier, we've got um, Julian Alvarez scoring goals for fun as well when he plays. He's got five in six. So it's, it's been, in terms of my strikers, it's going very, very well. I mean, that, that volley from Diogo Jota, if that had gone in, that would have that would have been good. I mean, it's brought a, run, a little mini winning run to an end of five games. We're still unbeaten, though, since we lost on the opening day against Arsenal. Uh, so the plan is... Oh, we've got Newcastle away coming up. Oh, right, we've got an international break. I am going to do Newcastle off camera, I think. Now I'm wondering. I didn't realise it was Newcastle. Because what I was... The plan was in my head, I was going to come back and do the two Inter games. Um, but now that Newcastle are potentially above us. Oh, no. Do you know what? No. I'll stick to what I was going to do. Otherwise, I'm going to end up doing every game. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just going to do that Newcastle one off camera. And then I will do the Inter games. They are, uh, what, two weeks apart. But it'll get us through. We've got an EFL Cup fourth round game as well against Man City, which is annoying. Uh, but, yeah. The next episode will be the two Inter games because they're crucial. Four points out of them. And we're as good as through and probably would be through. Uh, but you've got Atletico taking on Sparta. So you imagine that's going to be six points for them. So it's going to get interesting. But yes, smash a like on this one for me, please. Hit subscribe. Turn on those notifications. It's going to be into home and away in the next episode. Uh, so let's see how we get on against Newcastle in the meantime. And I'll see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.